I see them, Dicey. They look like... me? Oh, and, and there's you! So cute! Ah, mm. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. Even was in trouble. You'd better watch out. I'm the narrator, so that I'm allowed to just kill you, you things like that. Attention. She was definitely in a lot of trouble. And unless she tore them down, those posters are going to make things worse. Unwanted. You'd better watch. Hello there. That's a fine dice you've got there. Reminds me of QB. He, well, he was. There was a time when he was me and QB. She was my dice. We did everything together, fought for people too. Not like heroes, but we did good where we could. It was a good life and, and then the no dice war came to town and there was a big climactic fight at the Quarterstone Arena and, you know, we rolled a, oh, and we lost. And afterwards, I couldn't face that. Face her. I don't know. I couldn't face anyone. Couldn't face myself. And QB, she knew me better than anyone else. So looking at her was like looking at myself, you know. She knew how much I'd lost. And I just couldn't be with her anymore. After that, QB and I went our separate ways. I thought so often trying to find her, but as time went on, it just seemed bigger and bigger until, until it was simply too much to apologize for. And so I never have. No, no, I couldn't. I can't. You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. How? Find QB, enter the arena and win the fight I never could. It'd only be a symbolic victory anyway. The Queen's too strong now. But, but it would be a black eye for her. Yes, she hates people messing with her rules. If you could win that arena fight, that would put a smile on my face. You know, I don't even know your name, but I like your attitude. And if you do decide to face that arena, then I wish you luck. The game arena is now ready for new challenges. Hey, you want to hear the saddest story in the world? Okay, so there's this baby. No, you're telling it wrong. It's not just a baby. It's a duck baby. A duck baby. And the duck baby gets stuck in a hole and gets turned into a spider. And then he dies. Ducks eat spiders. So now he's going to be duck dinner. That's why he's sad. Okay, well, he doesn't know if ducks do or not, so that makes him even sadder still. Yeah, my brother told me this story, and he cried. Then, my friend told the story, and I cried. Now we're telling you the story, and you're gonna cry. Oh, it's okay. It's just a story. Feel better soon. Bye!
it. Why would you want to keep it? Make yourself comfortable, hey, kid. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Look, four town men have hair problems, like the hair. Have you seen my boyfriend? He's perfect. It, um, it is better, right? Obsessed? Who wouldn't be? His hair like the hair of the gods, and his cheeks like the cheeks of the gods, and his shoulders. Ah, oh, precisely. The man is perfect. I think about him all the time. Nothing, only him. It's because we're in love. Have you seen him? Last I heard, he wants to challenge one of the foreman's game arenas. But that seems like days ago. Could you deliver a message to him for me? You're a peach. Tell him I love him and that he's perfect. And if he wants ground steak for dinner, to let me know so I can start preparing the fixing. But if he wants chicken breast for dinner, I can do that too. But just let me know so I can start preparing the fixing and ask him what he wants me to wear tonight. And tell him if he doesn't like my hairstyle to just let me know and I'll get it cut before he gets home. Okay, you've got all that? I need to be his own person. Okay, bye. Thanks for delivering my message. An arena is now available for battle. <laughs> Look. Poor town may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. Well, I came um, from one town village with better, my family right? along with me. watch nanny you think she's here i think probably in disguise she could be anyone heard any good ghost stories lately wow all the soothsayers are treasure troves of spooky stories and ancient knowledge if you could ever get them to talk to you. So, let's hear it. Ooh, I already like where this is going. And... Classic, classic! Oh, and so mysterious. Who is she? Is she still here? What keeps her here? What does she want from us? Why, it's got tragedy, romance, mystery. I love it. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Go on. Children are both more likely to see a ghost and more likely to be completely terrified by their encounter. <laughs> I can't wait. Ah, uh, I, uh, hmm. Oh, I see. 
Uh, and? Did they, um, you know, die at the end and become a ghost? Huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that is technically a ghost story then, and, uh, well, I I'll say thanks, but, uh, but I don't want to. You see, that ghost story is as disappointing as it is not spooky, which is to say it is extremely both those things. Oh, oh, keep trying, though. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, listen. Do you come across any other spooky stories? You let me know. You can't just stand here. Don't you know there's a war going on? Here, in Vorberg, the Queen's tearing it to pieces. Heh, <laughs> you're an agent for the Queen, aren't you? Well, you won't get any intel out of me. Now scram! Back again, huh? Oh, I have. My friend Booza. She got in the way of the Queen's search back at the start of the war. Oh, I don't know what she was looking for, but she was like a woman possessed. Booza didn't do nothing but be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and that was it. Dunzo. Still hear her wails at night sometime. Hear her in the night, I do. Wailing, but not in pain, but confusion. Like she doesn't know she's dead, but can't figure out why she's not living anymore. Only ever heard her say words once. Got a glimpse of herself in the water. I don't deserve to be hated, she whispered. Clear as day. Then she went back to wailing. That's war, kid. Now run along, before you catch a bullet. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, war. A source of many, many ghosts. Both dead and living. Oh, I smell tragedy. A thing I've learned sometimes even more memorable than even the finest victory. What else is it about? Oh, sounds sad and unfair and very, very spooky. Oh, I'm not gonna get any sleep tonight. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Ooh, listen.
my sleeve, in my chest, up my nose, up me... well... Everywhere. Let's trade. as you can into the hole in order to lower the ladder and get to you go.
game. Have you... have you found him? Have you found my guiding star, my prince? A letter? Let me see. Dear? Oh, he calls me dear. And then he goes on to say that the longer... Uh... That the longer we were married, the more I became just a reflection of him. And he a reflection of me. He goes on to say that I'm not the woman I fell in love with. And he's not the man he used to be either. And that we both deserve better. We deserve to be full people. He then says this isn't healthy. That he needs to find time apart to rediscover who he is. And he hopes I'd do the same. Oh, oh no, he's gone. He 
he's gone and he's not coming back. I've lost everything. I don't want me. I want him. But then again, maybe all hope isn't lost. Maybe if I did what he said, if I try to figure out who I am when I'm by myself, if I rediscover who I used to be and truly am and break free of obsession and idolatry and become a fully realized person again, then maybe he'll take me back. It's the right one for me. Yes, I can do this. I can achieve self-realization for love. Let me give you this. It's a red band. I was going to give it to him, but I want to give it to you instead for all your help. And when you look at it, you can remember me and him and us. Oh dear. <clears throat> well, even had helped a lovesick woman realize she was worth more than just idolatry. And the red thread she'd been given must have a use somewhere. Right? 